Hey everyone, Zoaz here. Today I want to talk about the Thunder Suitor set as well as the Lava Walker set and why I think they are not actually worth it. Now, people are wondering if the Lava Walker and the Thunder Suitor set are actually worth using and if they're better than their counterpart, the Thundering Fury and Crimson Witch of Flame sets, which all drop in the exact same places. Now, both the Lava Walker and the Thunder Suitor set work exactly the same, except one is for electric and one is for fire. So they do both provide resistance to the element by 40%, as well as increase the damage dealt against enemy affected by that element by 35%. So here Electro and here Pyro, exact same thing. Now often the characters that would use these sets would be someone like Klee, or someone maybe like Diluc, or someone like Keqing for example, and in some situation, this set will actually work. Now for Keqing specifically, this is actually one of the only characters that can really utilize this set well, but a lot of testing has been done and a lot of things that you have taken into consideration actually make this set kind of not as good as we think. Now the first thing to take in note when using this set is that your first attack on the mob with your fire element or any kind of element will actually not be boosted, right? Because if, for example, I go and fight these mobs right here, they are not affected by anything. So I will have to go and press an ability and now he's affected by fire. You can see it, the image is on here. It's pretty clear that the fire effect is on. Now you just saw one of the biggest advantages of the set. He stepped in water and suddenly he is not affected by fire anymore. Now this could have happened with anything. Right? I could have basically used one of my supports, I could have used another ability, he could have been swirled into by my Animo, there could have been other elements going on in the domain or the abyss or something, and the element can get off just like that quite easily. Now of course most of the characters that will use this set will be able to apply this element quite often, but every time the element unapplies itself for a multitude of reasons, it will be requiring another attack to apply it again and every single time that attack will not be boosted. Now this ties into my second point which is basically the same kind of thing. If you have a party like for example my party where I have a fire carry and I have some supports here right. Now if for example my official has the bird out and my carry is the one using the element of fire. So every time I would apply fire to this guy right here. Now he's on fire. I cannot use anything for my supports because instantly it will proc elemental combination. So every single time you would use one of your supports, which if you want optimal damage in this game, you need to be using your supports. So if you have electric support, water support, any other kind of support, they will always trigger elemental reaction. So if you would want to make full use of that set, you would need to sit on the character of that element and not use any of the supports. Otherwise, you will be losing out on the damage bonus of the set. Now, another thing that is actually quite bad about this set is that most of the characters who would use this set will not benefit from their strongest elemental reaction. So for example, when you are using a fire character, the best damage source in the game is by melting opponents. When you melt an opponent with fire, you get 200% extra damage. Now this does not work if you're using this set. The reason being that to melt an enemy, they need to be iced first and then you apply fire to them, consuming both elements and then increasing damage by 200%. If they're applied by ice, that means they're not applied by fire. This means this does not boost melt. Melt is the strongest elemental reaction for a fire character. This is a huge disadvantage. The same thing can be said for the electric set. Now, the electric set does not have a 200% reaction. Instead, it has electro charge. Electro charge does really good amount of damage, though it's not amplified, it's more duplicated with a dot. Now, this also could technically work, but most of the time you will have put water on the enemy first in order to apply the electro charge with your main DPS. Otherwise, you could use your main DPS electric ability first and then go on a water character and proc electro charge. But in that case, this set would never have effect because you're not on the main character when you're proccing electro charge. So in any case, you're not getting really good benefit with the best reactions available to these characters when using this set. While on the other hand, when using their other counterpart set, which is the Thundering Fury or the Crimson Witch, you get the electro damage bonus here all the time, including when proccing your real good elements. Same thing can be said with the Witch Heart. You get this power damage bonus every single time, which is obviously much better for these big reaction high damage procs. Now, the last thing I want to mention about these sets is that they do not work when 
fighting enemies with an innate element. What does that mean? That means mostly slimes or any enemy with a shield. Now, as you would know by now, every kind of slime in the game, like these ones for example, have their own element on them at all time. Which means that if you cast fire on Electro Slime, you will always proc Overload. The Electro Slime will never have the fire effect on them because they are electric and by applying fire you instantly trigger the elemental combo of overload. Now every slime in the game is immune to any element of their own so you will never benefit from any of these sets when you are fighting slimes in the game period. Now the same thing happens with enemies who have a shield so for example the fatuis when their shield is up they are also immune to other elements until you break the shield or basically when you attack with an element it will trigger a reaction instead of putting the element on them so a lot of the fatui mobs you will not get the 25 percent damage on at least not at a good uptime now abyss mages exact same thing while their shield is up you will not be getting the benefits of level walker or thunder suitor at any time and as you can see right now, as I'm going through these levels and I'm showing you all of these, this is level 9, 10, 11, and 12. If you look at it, the vast majority of the monsters in these levels are monsters who are immune to these sets or at least have a lower uptime to make you get benefits from these sets, which means that these sets are ultimately not going to be great in the harder levels of the abyss because most of the time it will not apply and when it applies it will not apply fully or you'll have to reapply often which will mean that you don't get the bonus for half of your attacks it basically means that these sets are mostly more traps than they are good sets it is going to be very rare that you will out damage the other sets when using thunder suitor you will most likely be better off using Thundering Fury and when you're using Level Walker you'll be most likely better off using the Crimson Witch of Flames or even doing two piece of this set with two piece gladiator or two piece of this set with two piece gladiator will often be out damaging this other set. It's just simply not really that worth it. You will often fight mobs that cannot get afflicted by this element or will simply trigger element off of it by using your party combo. If you're not using your party combo you're losing out on tons of damage anyways. It's really, really rare that this set will be worth it. Now, certain characters like Keqing and stuff can maybe sometimes make it work. But again, the effects of these sets are usually better in the end of the run, especially if you're using the correct proper parties to proc all these elements all the time, which is the biggest source of damage in Genshin Impact. If you're not procing these kind of things every few seconds, you're playing the game wrong already. It is really the biggest source of damage that you can do in this game. So I really, really never would recommend that you waste your time on these sets, really. If you find really good pieces of them, you can use them or save them as an off piece. But for now, there is really few amounts of content that requires you to have the resistance. And there is really... A lot, a lot of content that will really increase the damage that you deal by more than the other set provides. Now, of course, this is my opinion. I've tested this on myself, on my characters, and I've never ever saw a great result with these sets. Thunder Suitor and Lava Walker are simply not very good in what I've tested. Now, I'm sure some of you might have been able to make it work, and I'm sure some of you have had good success with them. Some characters will be better, and some team comps will be better, but for the majority of players who either don't know this or don't pay attention to these elements all the time, or simply don't have characters such as Keqing and Klee, which are some of the only ones who can make these sets work, it is really not something I would recommend for the vast majority of you guys. I hope this can answer some of your questions, guys. As always, we stream every single day and we have over 60 different character guides and Genshin Impact tip videos on the channel. So make sure to check it out and make sure to come and chat with us if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.